So now I'm logging into Manifest for my iPad. And as I enter the iPad application, I need to search for my asset as one way to look for the asset. I found my asset. I'm gonna access it. Some basic information about the asset here. Could also look at 3D models if I had any, which in this case I do not. Could also load up the website, which we do have loaded up. So it automatically pulled up the website for this particular piece of equipment, some basic data around it. I can look at different templates that I have. I only have one template here, which is the, the cutting uh, settings template. You could see some basic, if I wanted to, I could auto preview. So I could load it up or I could just preview it here without any anchoring, just to see what these steps look like. And I could scroll through everything. I could look at the different steps. I could see that there's a manual there and I could move to the next step. I could edit, select, you know, just to validate, you know, certain things, even though I don't have the piece of equipment, you know, here in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of that though go back to templates and I'm gonna pull up jobs. I'm actually gonna add a job here. And as I'm adding a job, I'm gonna pull up a template. I'm gonna assign that template and I'm gonna add it. Now you can see that job was created. I select the job, I assign the job. And now there's two different things you could do. So maybe you're working with a 3D model. If you're working with the 3D model, you just start the job, but you could also just launch an AR and there's a couple different ways you could do it. You could place a tag, you could place a digital QR code down, or you could scan a QR code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan a QR code. So I have a QR code on this machine behind me here. So I'm going to scan this QR code. And what you see is it lays down a digital QR code. You could start to see some overlays. You could see some augmented overlays, some indicators pointing to a particular section. And I start the job. And as you see, now I have the first step in my procedure. So I'm gonna close that out. It was a quick video. Maybe that was too fast. Maybe I needed to evaluate a picture a little bit better. So this image here now gives me a great idea of exactly what I need to do. So I'm gonna put down the iPad for a second here so I can go through this step. But I'm gonna grab my disc and I'm gonna load up my disc. I'm gonna complete that step in the procedure and I'm gonna to move to my next step. And it says, go to edit. I'm gonna pull up a quick photo because again, we're on a touch screen. It's hard to know exactly what I need to be looking at. The video is great, but being able to zoom into these pictures to know exactly what I need to look, like, look at is perfect. So now I hit edit and I've completed that step in the procedure. I'm gonna complete it and I'm gonna to move to the next step in the process. So instead of starting with a video this time, we're starting with a picture, an auto pop-up of a picture. So I'm gonna enlarge this and I can see, okay, I need to hit that, hit load. I'm gonna close out of that and I'm gonna move to the next step. Now my program is up. All of this data is for cutting taper. We're not cutting any taper on this particular part, so I'm gonna take this out. Let's look at the photo next. Enlarge it, much easier to understand what I'm looking at here. Just says, select that first, and then press that second. Easy directions to follow. And delete. Now that I've completed that step, I'm gonna complete it. And now I'm gonna to move to this next step. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull up the text. It says select conditions. So I need to look at my conditions. So I'm gonna do a condition search and it's gonna load up my conditions. I can also have a still image of all the conditions. As a new person, you might not know what the conditions are but a manager could take a picture or anybody could take a picture of what those settings need to be. You could have a still image and you could zoom in just to validate that you have all the right settings set up. So now I've looked through, I'm validating that my settings are set up the right way and I'm gonna complete this step and move to the next step. It says double click three times, 
on three times. So I see three times, I'm gonna double click, and then I'm gonna hit find. And then I'm gonna select four times, as the instructions say here. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna hit okay one more time. I'm gonna close that out, move to the next step. And it's the final validation process. Now you can check to make sure that all my machine conditions are gonna work. So as a final validation, what we would recommend is that maybe you call for support, you know, in a see what I see type capacity. So I could quickly call for help, you know, when I'm here in the system and I could pull up a list of people who are available to call, maybe my supervisor. So I could select Kelly because he's my supervisor and I could text with him, are you ready? Or I could just give him a quick call like so. But I'm gonna hang up because he might be busy right now so I don't wanna go through and I don't wanna bother him. But uh, I could call him, I could hold up my iPad, I could show him exactly what the settings are and then he could validate that everything's correct so I can move to the next step. And so now that we've validated everything, we just need to go to the graphic. It's gonna pull up the graphics. And then it said select draw, but just in case, I'm gonna look at these photos. One photo here, that one's for graphic. There's another photo. And let's see what that one is. Yep, draw. So now I would just select draw. And it's drawing my diagram and the beauty is I have a copy of the drive. I can identify that it did draw it the right way, and then I can begin the, the cutting process.